Wow, look at that giant pile. I know, and it's carrying all those papers. Ignoring and rising above. What's wrong, Betty? Now that you're a big fancy editor, you don't even talk to the little people. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over your loud shirt. <gasps> Absolutely, Mark uh, specifically is taking it upon himself to make Betty's life miserable because he wanted the promotion and thought he deserved the promotion and doesn't think that Betty can handle it. And he's doing everything he can to prove that to everyone else. Betty, you might have been a star assistant, but as an editor, you have failed to produce one single item for this magazine. You want help? Here it is. I don't want to hear another word about it. Betty's in charge, so shut up and get out. Absolutely, because she has her new job and she's, a, she's an editor now, so she kind of does Betty's version of an editor. Um, which is still fun and kind of campy and, you know, still a little eccentric, but it's Betty's version of, of the woman professional editor. Um, and, and it's great because we just get to, you know, grow the character through her physical appearance and her, and her, um, her wardrobe. And we have so much fun with the wardrobe. Did you just... Fashion smacked by Suarez. Unexpected. Unlike you, Betty, I look great in jewel tones. What's with a toot? Well, I've tried being nice to you, but since my promotion, all you do is insult me and sabotage me. So, I'm done with you.